So you recently updated your phone which was working perfectly to iOS 14 and you notice that the phone is not behaving the same way like it's as if the ghost of Steve Jobs has kind of like appeared on your phone all of a sudden. Well, I'm here to tell you that you are not alone. Yeah. If your phone was working perfectly well and you did an iOS update and you notice that like there's a ghost on it and when you press certain areas of your screen it doesn't work or if you leave your phone unattended or you're watching a video or typing on Facebook or whatever and it starts misbehaving like it starts opening and closing apps, calling 911, sending messages to your ex and so many other things, all hope is not lost. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about some of the major issues and pain points that people who have updated their devices to iOS 14 are experiencing and some workarounds. Remember I said workaround. Let's talk about it. Coming up next. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Cyber Review. So, you noticed recently that you updated to iOS 14 and there are two major issues that you are going to experience. One, your battery level keeps dropping like formerly maybe you could go through the whole day and charge just once but now you notice you have to be charging like twice or three times and yes you are not alone in this one as well it is a very commonly reported issue that users who have updated from ios 13 to ios 14 have experienced significantly terrible battery drains and i think most of it has to do with the widgets yes ios 14 came with widgets ability to reply to text and imessage and so many other exciting features but these same features have become kind of like you know something that people are suffering from as a result especially the widgets because the widgets contain so much information which is always displayed it's like an always on display for when your phone is on including did you know that even on your lock screen there are widgets you never knew just swipe right and you see all those widgets which need to show you that data anytime you request for it and so that is a major reason why you are experiencing considerable battery lack because some use data some require memory resources hard disk resources need permissions to your camera and all these things your gallery and all that for you to be able to get access to the widgets that you really need so a simple solution is to go back to just having your home screen as plain as possible the good thing is you can hide many 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 of the home screens and use just one in the app drawer or use none and just the app drawer now the second issue is more of a concern than the first because this issue has been experienced by iphone users from like iphone 6 all the way to the iphone 11 pro max and not just even iphones ipads are also experiencing it now this is the ghost touch effect i don't know if it's the ghost of steve jobs or whatever but on my device that i use which is the iphone x i noticed that when i did the ios 13 update and many many people noticed that immediately there's like a major apple os version update then they start experiencing ghost touch on their perfectly working devices now when you go on the apple website apple acknowledges that ghost touch happens on some of their devices but then they've only restricted it to iphone x models and if you have an iphone x you can take it to your nearest apple care shop and have it replaced for you now it makes me think apple is making it look like it's a defective hardware issue but if you are watching this video, your phone was working perfectly well, right? And so you updated to iOS 14. So then it's not a hardware issue, it's a software issue. Of course, if you have like cracks on your device and all that, then those can contribute to it. But if you don't have any cracks, your screen is in tip top shape and all that, and you are still experiencing ghost touch. Apple is not accepting it if you are not using an iPhone X. But then I have some workarounds. So 
when I am watching YouTube, like I have a lot of apps open, especially like YouTube, Facebook, WhatsApp, Telegram, and I have like a lot of apps in memory. I notice that the phone just begins to misbehave all over. If I'm watching YouTube, it begins to like and unlike the video, comment, do so many things, open and close apps. And for me, that is a major thing. Like when you're typing, it clicks away from the screen. So it makes it very difficult, especially when you're typing like a a chunk of text it can just clean everything some people have experienced it that this is kind of different maybe when they connect the charger to the device then it begins to mess up that one is easily identifiable so you know that when you connect your charger this is what happens so maybe you can try a wireless charger though it might give you slow speeds or change your charger or something of the sort at least that one you have been able to pinpoint the cause of it but for people who don't have any hardware issue resulting in this for me what i do is when the phone begins to misbehave i just turn off the screen i use my palm to wipe the screen and once i wipe the screen everything returns to normal for a couple of minutes or hours before the ghost touch effect happens i also notice it a lot when i like i'm charging my device and the phone gets really hot or like you're playing games or like you're multitasking and the phone gets very hot then it starts to happen and then like i said the last way i see it is when i have a lot of apps open in the background and i think it's because apple doesn't you know give us a lot of memory like phones nowadays on android have like 12 gigs 8 gigs of ram and stuff like that but the iphone 11 pro maxes and things have just 4 gigs of ram iphone x some have like 3 gigs of ram and other phones have 2 gigs of ram which is not enough for all the high end apps that we've been running nowadays so i think the phone is really 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 suffering and i wish apple would acknowledge that this is a major problem because when i did my first video on the iphone x ghost touch issue i have over sixty thousand views and if you read the comments you can see that so many people are suffering from this ghost touch issue who are not just iphone x users iphone 11 pro max at the cost at which it's sold it's disappointing that I mean, your iPhone 11 Pro Max will be misbehaving. And when it happens that way, you don't even feel like using the phone any longer. Like, you know, the joy you had when you purchased the phone is no longer there. So let me know how you experience the ghost touch effect on your iPhone. If you've seen any work around, let me know in the comments. It might be helpful to other people. Let me also know which iPhone you are using that you experience it on. When did you actually notice it at first? And during which circumstances like are you charging your phone or when it's lying down at what point in time does the ghost manifest itself and begins to misbehave and also try the solution i said when it's happening just turn off the screen and wipe it and then turn it on and if that works for you like gives you a temporary solution le let me know in the comments and if the more permanent solution of taking it to your nearest apple care shop for them to change it for you works let me know in the comments below as well if you are new to my channel i do mobile phone reviews mobile app reviews and i bring to you affordable gadget reviews to help you make an informed decision when you're making your next purchase so if you like that kind of content please click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you do not miss any episode now i really really hope this is not experienced on the iphone 12 series as well now remember, you are not alone.